Flat Cap Cafe Racer here. Uh, I'm uh, sitting in a line to uh, get into the drag strip today. This is a last shot for us this year, so bring a Thruxton R out of here with a little quarter fairing on it, not the big one, and hopefully you'll see some pretty good racing out here today. See you later. going to do the first run here. Mr. Bill's over here. He's going to take some pictures. He's running against a little empty 07 that runs uh, best time I think is 11.9 on his so far. He runs, he's a regular out here. He does really good. Really being impressed. Hey, he's getting better every, each and every time. He does a lot of bracket racing. I think the best I did out here uh, last year at this time was about 11.8. Mr. Bill's uh, figuring out the GoPro. <laughs> Why do I make the turn? You just, just turn, you turn, you turn your wrist. Looks like we're gonna get to come right up. Maybe. I don't know what the traction's like, so we're just gonna give it the that 5400. Let's see. That's feels pretty sticky right now. You can tell it on the GoPro, but she went up in the air a little bit. That's not good. Well, that was a pretty silly first run, wasn't it? I don't know if you can see the wheelie here, but uh, that wasn't good. Well, we're in line for the um, second run. It's been really uh, long lines here today. I don't know that I'm going to get another run. So we're going to be racing against the uh, Dylan over here on his MT-07 again. I think he missed a gear last time, so and I wheelied, so neither one of us is very pretty. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to go for, uh, we're going to see if we can do a better ET this time. It means I may have to sacrifice a little bit off the reaction time to do that, but I think it would be better. And that, judging from the launch I had last time than trying to do this. It has turned out, it's been a year since I've been out here on this bike. A year, almost, it'll be a year tomorrow. It's, it's the last time I've been out here on a drag strip with this bike. And uh, I have to say I'm a little rusty. Let's hope we don't launch any rockets here. Try to get over here in the middle where it's a little slicker. I certainly don't need a lot more traction than I got. Come on, there's one. It's about four grand right there, so beat it easy.
lot easier start that time. I got a little power on him. Yeah, that's about, he's telling me that's about 80 horsepower. Uh, and three, uh, the weight of it is 388 pounds. I'm about 100 horsepower and mine is probably closer to 480 right here. So I don't know, power to weight ratio. It's pretty close as you can see. I think he had me probably at the first 6330. I think I might have caught him by the thousand. He's getting pretty good at that. I think he's gonna get a bigger bike and do some good stuff. Dylan's about 29 and he's been out here doing some pretty good racing. I slipped the clutch a little bit on that one. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, he, he read live that time. And I got 11.704, he got 12.01. Uh, so, like I said, don't read, read these when you're going down the road. Well, we both did better. Well, my, I read it, but the run went better. Yeah, uh, you could. I could tell. I took it. I took it. Time coming out of the hole in that one. Yeah. Uh, you had me at the 60 foot pretty good, and it looked like I caught you at the 330. About caught you at the 330. Yeah. And then I could tell. Then I could. I could tell I was pulling on you. Then that's the difference in the motors there. Yeah, that's when I run out of steam. Is right about the eighth mile. Yeah. But. Still a pretty good run for my last run. Of the yeah, day. I wanted to be a good, better run. I didn't want a red light on you again. Yeah. I went red this time. Yeah, but you didn't do as bad as I did. We'll see you, man. I'm gonna load up here and I'm gonna go home. My, my shoulder's killing me. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna load up and head out too, but see you in the spring. All right, I hope. I think that's enough today, boys and girls. Just to kind of sum it up, I got a point oh nine reaction time, but I was slipping the clutch. My 60 foot time was like two. Uh, did pretty good on the 330, and also did get, so finished up with 11.704 at 117.93 miles an hour. Not bad for an old man riding a bike he hadn't ridden out here for a year. This is uh, Flat Cap Cafe Racer saying goodbye for today. You don't want to miss the part two of the recalls coming up real soon. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.